Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This will be the part two of the previous video in which I have shown you how to install Kali Net Hunter rootless on your Android phone. In this video, I will explain you how you can use the GUI version of Kali Net Hunter rootless. So without wasting any time, let's get back to the video. Yeah, and make sure before you are watching this, you have watched the part one. Otherwise, you will not understand how I have uh, completed all the steps, and then you will not be able to use GUI version. So the link is in the i button and also in the description so make sure you first go and check the part one of this video okay so continue so just open your terminal and if you have watched the part one you will obviously be at this screen okay where i have installed the kali net hunter root list so now what we have to do is just uh, follow me the step follow all the steps that i'm showing you go so log in to nethunter as a root user so for that we need to enter this command nh space hyphen r okay so we are now logged in as a root in kali nethunter so let me clear the screen for you and zoom in a little bit okay so this is very important step for using the gui version so we need to edit a configuration file that is present in Kali Net Hunter and we need to do some changes in that. So just type what I'm typing here and a n o nano forward slash etc forward slash r e s o l then press tab and you will see this file nano uh, in etc folder there is resolve.config file. So nano is used to edit it. So once you hit enter you will be in the nano editor so as you can see the name server here it's set to 9.9.9 .9. so we need to edit it and set it to a google dns okay so instead of 9.9.9 .9 .9, we need to use 8.8.8.8 .8 okay to save this just press this control and then o and then enter okay and then again to exit from here press control x and then enter okay so now our config file is updated so we need to update all the dependencies and repositories so just type apt u p d a t e update at update okay so now the dependencies are installed and updated carefully okay okay now that the configuration file is updated so we will start the server for the gui connection in our android phone so just simply let me zoom in a little bit so simply type net hunter -E kex and p a -S -S -W -D. so we need to set a password for the server so it should be six characters so k l i you can set anything you want I'm using a simple password for this so if when you get this prompt just simply type n and then hit enter okay let me clear the screen now go back to your chrome browser or any browser that you are using and you need to search for net hunter store on your browser so let me show you just search for kali kex or n e t h u n t e r s t o r e so net hunter store and scroll down a little bit let me go to all yeah just click on the first link of store.nethunter.com okay and you will get to see here there is a download store app option just click on that and yeah download for me i have downloaded it already but still for this video i'm downloading again this is somewhere around 8 mb see the this application it's a very outdated application sometimes it may not work properly you might not be able to see the another applications to install in the net hunter store application but uh, just uninstall and reinstall it sometimes that works okay so let it download so once this is download just click on the application to install select package installer as the installer and it will prompt you to install just click on install app is installed just click on open see this will give you the warning that this application is outdated just simply click on ok once you do that the first application which is net hunter kex by bvnc just click on that and click on install option okay i have already installed this applications 
so this is how it looks like okay so let me delete the old configuration for you we will do everything from the beginning okay so now go back to your termix and then enter this command n e t h u n t e r net hunter k e x and the and symbol okay net hunter x and the and symbol hit enter let me zoom out a little bit okay so this will give you a process id and the port number for that so make sure you use it wisely so 5901 so go back to this application select on new connection okay so by default it will be 5900 here just go back and make it 5901 and the password which you use uh, to set the kex password so k a l i okay once this is done just click on ok and save the file and then click here and boom we are able to use kali net hunter on your on our phone officially so let me show you this is all the applications that we can use okay password attacks wife wireless attacks reverse engineering exploitation tools metasploit everything is here okay and if you are not comfortable using it like this you can just go back on your termix and you can use termix here as a cli version okay i will be making more videos on this uh, application so make sure you subscribe my channel and like the video okay and make sure to join the telegram channel links are given in the description and do check my instagram as well i have uploaded many videos showing showing how you can do ethical hacking using mobile phone like uh, cracking passwords uh, location tracking etc so please like share and subscribe thanks